New information now on our top story about hundreds of local EMTs and paramedics being abruptly laid off by a private company. Now, we first told you about what First Med's now former employees call a shady shutdown Monday at 5. Tonight, people are reaching out to help, though. Meanwhile, the company's corporate execs are running from our cameras. Hi, Mr. Menes. I'm with Wavy TV. My name's Anita Blanton. Are you with First Med? No comment. Uh, we're trying to find out when people are going to get their last checks. Can you tell us that? No comment from one of First Med's corporate officers we spotted in Chesapeake on day two of our pressing for answers about the company suddenly closing over the weekend, leaving more than 250 Hampton Roads residents jobless before Christmas, clueless as to when they'll even get the last of the money they're due. I sat down with one of those now former employees Monday. I'm still at a loss for words. It still feels like a dream. But this is her reality, shared by many others throughout our area who've been dedicated to the company that cares for years. First Med's ambulance service covers the eastern shore, Southside Hampton Roads, the Peninsula, Williamsburg, Saluda, Gloucester, and Tappahannock. The good news is that those unemployed workers are surrounded by a caring community that's already reaching out. Today, 10 on your side was informed that the Bertie County Emergency Management is going to employ 40 to 50 First Med workers workers there at their previous pay and one company that reached out to us um, our company predominantly provides security for multifamily housing communities and shopping centers now they want to offer jobs to 10 to 20 more people who may be interested in working with them and we decided that it would be great to reach out to somebody because the qualifications of the people who work at first med um, it's pretty much in line with what we do here at Gardas. he said they're fortunate just to be in a position to help and you want to email info at guardusandserve.com to ask about one of those positions that I was just talking about. That email address is there on your screen. Now, I reached out to the company CEO, Brian Gibson, today. He never returned our calls, but a source tells me that laid off First Med workers should be receiving their final paychecks by Friday. Also, former First Med employees are holding a toy drive to help these families. Donations are being accepted until December 20th at Mercury Property Management in Hampton. They'll be delivered by Santa to children on December 22nd and 23rd.